welcome back to my channel i hope you are doing well today i have another haul for you mainly from primark with a couple of little and extras for you if you want to find out what i found then keep on watching we're going to start off with primark because yes we've got another full bag another full bag worth of stuff let's get cracking let's see what i bought from primark now as i may have mentioned in another video i don't really wear jeans much anymore because i don't feel comfortable in them um the only ones i've really been wearing have been my h&m wide leg ones shock for some reason at the moment i feel like i've passed like the skinny jean era i don't know i just put them on don't feel comfortable in them so i haven't really been wearing jeans a lot except wide leg um yeah, I don't usually go and buy Primark jeans. They never usually tend to fit me in length very well. However, this time round, I have found two pairs of jeans from Primark. First up, have to be my absolute fave purchase recently, trouser wise, and that will be these black high waisted cropped flare jeans from Primark. I have always, if you know me, always wanted a pair of flares, but because I'm short, like I say in every single video with a pair of trousers, I can't buy normal, regular flares. They did them in Primark, the 90s vintage flares, but they would have just been so super long on me. But when I saw cropped flare, I was like, don't be silly, Primark. This isn't going to be cropped on me. It's still going to be full length, but it's going to work well and they're going to be the correct length and look right. And they do. They look amazing. They fit so so snug so well so fitted proper good jean material really nice how fitted they are across the top and flare out really lovely at the bottom only a little bit but they just look amazing they look like a trouser rather than a jean so you can really dress them up um, these are 15 pounds which is an absolute bargain for a pair of jeans the only thing with these is i'm usually a size 10 they had no size 10s, so I was like, I'm definitely not going to be an 8 because a flare naturally fits really super small. So I went up to a 12. I'm so glad I did because they fit really nice around the waist. I was going to be a bit worried that they were going to be too baggy, but they fit really good on the bum as well and perfect in length. Um, I think it's because it's a flare fit that I've had to go up to the 12 because, again, like I said, they do fit really, really snug flares across the top to help with that extra flare across the bottom. Um, so if you are looking to get these, maybe go up a size if they don't have your size in stock. Um, they work really well for me. They're really, really comfy, like I said. I'm £15. You can't really go wrong for a flare trouser or jean in general, um, especially when competitors are charging like 40 quid for the same type of trouser. Go get yourself a pair. Next up is another pair of jeans. Again, £15. Can't go wrong. And that is this straight leg high waist blue pair. I don't actually own a straight leg, so I was so, so intrigued at buying these. I got these in my regular size and a size 10. I thought perhaps I'd have to get a 12 because of the other ones being a 12. But no, if I went for a 12 for these, it'd be too big. It just shows to never, ever, ever judge sizing, never go off sizing because everything fits so differently. You're not a 10, you're not a 12, you're not an 8. That's just a number. Just pick which fits the best and you feel most comfortable in because that's what makes you confident. So yeah, I got these. They're such a nice colour denim. Fit really well around the waist. Really good in length. Um, perfect fit actually for a straight leg pair of trousers. Again, competitors are charging you 40, 50 quid for a pair of jeans like this. 15 pounds in Primark. I'd stick true to size for these ones. I'm just actually so grateful that I've got two pairs of jeans now that I can actually wear and feel comfortable and confident in. I really was starting to worry myself when I was looking at all the tops and stuff I've got and thinking, what have I got to go on the bottom? Because I don't feel comfortable in anything. So now the fact I've got a blue and a black pair of jeans, both different types of styles as well, I'm super, super happy about. Next purchase was this little corset feel-esque top mind the deodorant stain um i got this in a size 10 fits so well so lovely and because it's not a proper in your face corset it can really work in the day as well as night this was nine pounds and i just thought it's just a nice classic piece to have in your wardrobe really love 
the scoop neckline and also it scoops at the back a little bit longer at the front a bit shorter at the back which is typical corset vibe i don't actually own that many corset tops so like i always say i usually get something in black before i get it in a color and that's what i did and this strap likes to fall down but yes i probably stick to your original size and this was nine pounds last piece of clothing item and this is my favorite 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 piece it is this like utility style white jacket i adore this i adore this i've already worn it this was 20 pounds 25 pounds off the top of my head um i went for a size medium so 12 to 14 in this because i wanted it big i wanted it baggy i wanted it oversized so i could wear it with cycling shorts underneath to look like a dress normal shorts just proper oversized giving it a really casual street style look um recommend getting this so much it comes in a really nice mint color as well but i went for white because white just suits my skin tone a lot more but i uh, honestly could not rate this piece enough i've already worn it with a really small bra underneath this open pair of jeans pair of boots golden golden 25 pounds um if you don't want it oversized probably go down a size six your original size if you want it a little bit oversized but if you want it oversized go big or go home is what i say and oh it's just such a wearable piece now like i was saying i've already worn that piece with a little bralette and jeans underneath and i paired that with this accessory which was this initial combo necklace from primark this was three pounds and to me it looks like something you'd get in top shop and the initial one looks like one of the expensive jewel um jewelers makes at the moment that are doing them for like 40 50 pounds yes it probably will tarnish through time however for three pounds i can just go back and get another one i'm not usually a layering necklace type of gal but this just worked for me i just thought it just gives something a little bit of an edge made made the outfit i wore actually with that white shirt a little bit more expensive and i just love it i really do think gold chains chains in general loads of accessories are going to be a huge thing with like winter knits during this autumn winter month month months we're not just having one month um but yeah three pounds absolute bargain last but not least from primark for any little bits i got some opaque tights black opaque the opaquest they go which is 10 denier um get the five pairs i got the matte ones not really here for the shiny finish i just think this is going to be a huge huge thing this autumn winter really short mini dresses mini skirts oversized blazers pair of cycling shorts underneath with a pair of tights and a massive pair of chunky boots that is the vibe i'm going for so i thought i'd pick up some tights because i don't actually own really thin denier tights so i got five pairs for three pounds from primark also then found these ones which i've had out of the box which is a fashion pair of tights you only get one pair you got five of the others and these are also three pounds which for one pair of tights is a little bit steep for my liking but i friggin adore these and this is the vibe i'm going for little polka dot opaque tights oh, i cannot cannot wait to wear these with my new boots that i'm about to show you or oh, even these with cycling shorts over the top massive jumper i've just got so many ideas for these opaque looks and just bring on the awesome winter leaves falling weather because i'm ready that was everything i got from primark and i've got two more staply bits to show you and they are both shoes let's start with the boots first that i was just talking about if you know me every single year without fail i buy a pair of boots from Topshop every single autumn winter I buy a pair from there it's just a thing I do so this year couldn't be any different and I got these oh I just love them they're black painting I love the heel it's such a good height to give that lift but also look at it 
it's such a nice shape the front of these boots also give me life i absolutely love them when they're on they look a bit a little bit clown booty because of the shape at the front but i'm so here for it i feel like these are so 80s as well zip completely down the back i want to say these were 80 pounds but 20 percent shoe and discount she still gets it. She still gets it, peeps. It's going to be just the ones for this season. And I'm not being funny. Every single year I've had a pair of Topshop boots. They last and last and last and last. My ones from last year are still going. They're leather. They need rehealing though. Um, but I just wanted a bit of a different pair. A shiny pair to add to the collection. Black, of course, go with anything. Oh my god. I'm just, just a bit in love. You're going to see these probably all over the Instagram. Everywhere. I've worn them once already and they're so comfy. Go get them. Oh, also fit quite big. I'm usually a size five. I've got them a size four because they fit really big across the front. Woo. Last but not least, last pair of shoes. Now, I've never really been a Converse gal. Yes, I've had pairs, but every time I've worn them, I've been like, no they're not doing it for me they're too flat they make me look stumpy she's gone and got herself a pair of canvas but the high 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 platform top ones i've never had a pair of high top ones because i always thought they made me look dumpy but now that we've got this wedge of a platform no 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 she looks cool um i tried them in black black didn't make me look a little bit like an emo i'm not gonna lie the white i'm so in love with i think these were 70 pounds but again got shoot at discount stay true to size these are just so wearable. I've seen so many influencers in them and I've just been like liking all the photos, saving all the photos to recreate looks. Um, yeah, I'm excited to wear these with dresses. I'm excited to wear them with mm, jeans. I wore them with my flares, my black flares on my Instagram. Um, yeah, I'm just so here for like these boot trainer vibes. The boots are going to be worn all season and I can tell you now these are going to be worn all season because they're just going to be the new thing with mini dresses, skirts, shorts, massive oversized shirts and all my flare new trousers. They're cool. Just look at them. Do you know what I feel like? I feel like I'm from Greece. I feel like these should have some roller skates underneath. You get me? I feel like I'm going to a diner. Like, yeah, get me a milkshake, get me a Riverdale. Not Riverdale because it's a bit shit. But, you know, you get the vibe. I'm quite quirky. I'm quite preppy, schooly. With an edge. Go get them. Go get them. I love them. I might get them in black even though I look like an emo. But probably not because I've got no money left. And that, ladies and gentlemen, was this haul. Only a short one because I showed you a lot in the last video, didn't I? A lot, an awful lot from Zara. Um, yeah, these pieces are just going to help me through transition into the winter months. A lot of accessories, actually, and a lot of little different things I can pair with so many different outfits. And I'm super excited to start styling them for this season. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and share amongst your friends. And I'll see you soon for another video. Goodbye.